All righty, Daniel, thank you so much. Well, with costs for basic necessities on the rise heading into the fall semester, there's an extra strain on college students as well as their parents. Now, here in South Carolina, the average in-state cost of attendance, about $14,000 for tuition and fees, but it's around $29,000 when you count in room and board as well. Now, there are programs and resources that can help, so you are not paying for it later with so many of those student loans. So here to chat about those tips is financial expert Neil Brown. Neil, thank you so much for stopping by. Well, it's so important to talk about that saving up for college needs to start even in high school preparing for it, right? Absolutely. So let's go ahead and talk about just some of the ways when you are in high school, how you can kind of prepare for it. Yeah, uh, college is kind of like anything else in financial planning. Always do it early. Mm -hmm. and start thinking in 10th grade about career choices, maybe padding your school resume through advanced placement classes or community services, even athletic um, events. Yeah, you gotta start planning for it now. It's really important also just talking to your guidance counselor too, making those steps ahead, right? Absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and talk about those grants and loans that are available. Let's talk about some of those that you know maybe somebody can start looking at now. Yeah, the most important thing is to really get in your FAFSA application that's going to key a lot of other things like your Pell Grants and you said 29000 is the average cost in South Carolina but a Pell Grant's only going to pay for about up to 7500 ish of it and that's going to depend upon part-time, full-time, your expected family contribution, etc. So you got to start thinking about student loans, got to start thinking about parent loans, a lot of different things out there. What about those work opportunities? Um, I know like those work study opportunities, are those going to help you? Absolutely. Um, you can either work part time outside of the school environment or even do work study programs within the school environment, maybe working the door at the gym or working in the mm. you know cafeteria or the library or something on campus. Yeah, just something that you can do not only to get your mind active and learning about a career choice, but also just saving that money. Absolutely. Any way you can do it. All right, so there are some tax advantage ways to help with college costs. Let's go ahead and start off with this one. It's the American Opportunity Tax Credit. Yeah, and the first thing I would say is consult somebody really good in tax law. Um, <laughs> the American Opportunity Tax Credit will help you on the first $4,000 worth of your expenses. Mm -hmm. And when you look at it, there's a tax credit of up to $2,500 for the first $4,000 that you pay. Some other caveats in there, but that's the main rules of it. Okay, and then there's also another one. There is the Lifetime Learning Credit. Yeah, the, the go back to the American Opportunity. That's really the first four years that you're in school. Okay. So if you're a six-year senior yeah. or maybe in graduate school, the lifetime learning credit is going to come into play and that's a $2,000 credit and the way it works is 20% of the first $10,000 that you pay. So you want to make sure that you know which grants and programs you're kind of doing, especially for how long you're in school. Absolutely. Kind of all depends on there. And then all about the 529 plans. Yeah, the other thing to think about is the 529 plan. That's kind of like a 401k. You're putting money okay. up in advance. So you're hoping that it will grow. Um, even in South Carolina, if you haven't done it in advance and you aren't eligible for the tax credits, mm -hmm. you can still save some South Carolina taxes by putting money into the 529, letting it sit for a couple of weeks and then taking it out to pay for tuition. And Neil, really quickly, the biggest takeaways that parents need to do? Planning. Planning. I think start th thinking about it early in that 10th grade year and going through that. And if you haven't, then paying attention to what you need to do now. Planning, planning now. Absolutely. Now is the time to do it. Neil, thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully this is going to help with students, especially as we head into back to school Thank season. you so much. All right, everyone, don't go anywhere. We have more of your top he local headlines as well as the big stories happening around the world.